Hey guys, MechanicCG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 48. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, so we're here for the Class R GT Championship. Uh, so this is open to race cars in the GT Club uh, subclass. Uh, we can get ourselves a Ford Mustang car. I don't really care about that. But we're taking the Audi RS6 for this event. Uh, this is the first of the level 41s as well. Starting off at Tokyo Circuit, Silverstone, Blue Mountain Raceway, Test Track Infield, uh, Road America, New York, and then finishing off with the Nürburgring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Let's get started with uh, Tokyo Circuit. Starting to get on the extremely long events now. There we go, not too bad. And that is lap number uno. Numero uno, done. Holy fuck. That was pretty close, actually. So hopefully I'm going to get all seven of these races done in this stream. If not, I'll just do the first four. Because the first four is going to be a video, and then the final three is going to be a video. I think. Bit of a contact there. Uh, yeah, so... I am extremely excited, though, for the next... Uh, Falls of Motorsport 2. Because once we've done this, we can move straight on to Motorsport 2. Plan is, though, for the next week or so, we're going to try and crank out as much Falls of content as possible. Get that stuff nearly done. So that we can move on to um, getting closer toward the motorsport too. Not too bad. way too close on the inside there too close for comfort I need to buy a copy of Project Gotham Racing 1 and 2.
There you go. We're on the second third of this trap, this race. This is going to be a 15 minute race, which is uh, pretty mental. Pretty mental. I don't have enough time to drink. I want to drink. I'm craving liquid. Not bad. There we go. I do like how there is actually a driver that's animated in this game. Which I mean is kind of a necessity when you think about it. But it adds another question of why there wasn't actually interior cam in this game. Or even the second game there wasn't an interior cam. Why? I mean, it does make it better for um, Motorsport 3, really, because Motorsport 3 had so many extra features that Motorsport 2 didn't have. Oh shit. At sixty nine. <laughs> Oh yeah, so when it comes... To, I, I'm hoping we get this game finished before the end of the month. I believe we can do. Maybe early June. We'll have the game finished. But uh, by the looks of it... Because we'll be, it will probably be mid-June to late June that we'll start Motorsport 2. When we got about seven episodes of the Motorsport 1 series to go on YouTube, we'll start Motorsport 2 on Twitch. Um, and then what we'll also do, because at some point soon, we're going to have to try and finish off um, some of the extra events that aren't classes completed on Grid Legends. Because then we'll have to come back to Grid Legends because the DLC is coming out in June. It's been confirmed by the developers that in June the first of the four premium DLCs are coming out. In June. So. 
we'll basically be doing quite a bit of Grid Legends. We'll be going from Grid Legends to Forza Motorsport and back to Grid Legends again quite frequently. Motorsport 7, uh, not 7, Motorsport 5 is probably going to be the easiest one to plan out and actually record. Because we're not going to have to structure anything, we're just going to record in order. And end up with a crap ton of content. Because there's about 12 to 17 races per championship event. There's not as many championships. But it means less cars will be driving for Motorsport 5. So it might get a bit more boring. We'll have to see though. I don't think it will. Motorsport 5 and 6 should be fine. Motorsport 7 might be a bit... And Motorsport 6 might be a little... As well. Because the format of 6 is slightly confusing. And there's a lot of duplicates with Motorsport 6 as well. Because basically what they do is they have three events that you'll do. And then you choose what car you want to do those events in. Which is fine. But when you've got like Season 1, 2 and 3. And you're going through Season 1, 2 and 3 all in the same category. And then you're going back to do the exact same events but with different cars. And then again and again and again. To try and 100% it. Eh, might get a bit frustrating. But I think the most variety we'll get out of this series will be Motorsport 4. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, donkey in a chair. This car is so much better than the Volvo by the looks of it. Not too bad. I am not looking forward to doing the test track with four laps though. I'm saying that right now. Test track four laps. Shit idea. 1440.5.557. Not bad. We'll take it. We'll carry on. 59 grand. All right. Time for Silverstone. 
I never really understood why Silverstone was just was called Silverstone, but you know, that's probably something I will never understand. So we got six laps around this uh, beast of a track. I don't know why, but older race cars, like what would have been classed as race cars and like GT3 cars and stuff like that back in 2005, 2000, 1995, were just road going cars with a splitter and a spoiler on it. With majority of the seats taken out as well. That was literally it. Now, there's all sorts of fancy aero that they add to it as well. Obviously, it's still the same principle, but they add a lot more to the car. Holy shit, that was close. Why is there an American flag on this Audi? It's supposed to be a German car. Car is supposed to be from Germany. So it shouldn't have an American flag. I've just noticed something. Hmm. Maybe I haven't noticed something. I'll get back to you on what I've noticed on the next lap. Because I want to double check. No, yeah, I've noticed it. So on this track, it appears like a majority of the apexes, like the corners where you want to try and hit an apex, have a cone on the inside of the corner. <clears throat> this one probably won't have it. Oh, no, it does. Just there. See?
That's a double apex corner there, so it's got two points. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Angus, what's inside it? Jar of dirt is like my most favorite thing that Johnny Depp's ever done. Fucking funny. I got a jar of dirt. Angus, what's inside it? I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. No worries, Pandy. It is all good in my hood tonight. The party's underway. The party's underway. Turn into an eight star chef. Wow. I've turned into a two-star driver, apparently. Oh, I wonder what the free game is this week from Epic Games. Ooh. They got a mega sale thing going on at the moment. Probably will still be going on when this video goes out, because this video is due to go out in a week and a half's time. The one that I'm recording now. And Epic Games' sale is due to go on for the next four weeks. Crispy sweet bacon. Unpopular opinion. I'm not a great fan of crispy bacon. I don't like bacon with a lot of fat. And I don't like bacon that's too crispy. I like it to be cooked. Obviously. But like, I just want bacon. Normal bacon. I mean, sure, crispy bacon does have a much stronger bacon flavour. But at the same time, it's just crispy. I don't like the crispiness of it. It's like burning it. Hmm. Fair enough. I think I've seen people dip meat into like, um, you know, like molten sugar. So when you pull it out, it's like got a glass coating of sugar. It actually doesn't look too bad.
I might try it. Which one's the uh, best out of those options, Pandy? Ah, fuck the corner. Fuck the police. Ah, uh, fair enough. Sounds good. All right, 61 grand. Woohoo! All right, Blue Mountain Raceway. Woohoo! Not. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, though. Borderlands 3 for free on the Epic Games Store. Not bad. Why do you need 20k channel points? Are you trying to redeem VIP? Because you can't get VIP. Pandy, you're a mod. A mod can't have VIP. Because having VIP is a downgrade for a moderator. Chasing sunrise. Well, it's a thousand points for a minute of extra time, and then it's 50,000 for an hour, so. Oh, well, yeah, it's the subathon thing, isn't it? For the next subathon. Next subathon is going to be in a while, anyways. Might be uh, late June, July time. One K a minute. Because it works out the right amount. Based off of how many people have certain amounts of channel points anyways. Um, and based off of the amount of people that would end up watching during it. If you think 10 people watching during it would be able to earn approximately 2 hours for free per day. So that's quite a lot of free hours. Yeah, you'll have plenty of time to save up. I wonder if there's another word we can call a subathon stream rather than calling it a subathon. Because we don't do subs on our subathons, really. 
Majority of the time I get donos or bits. I very rarely get subs during a subathon. Extendo stream. No, that sounds clapped. Sounds like a good plan, Pandy. Sounds like a good plan. Um, I would say, though, you would have to do PC-only stuff, I assume. To do a proper subathon, because you'd need OBS. You wouldn't be able to do Xbox stuff, I don't think. But then you can just screen share your Xbox to your PC and just stream that way. Yeah. I'm just thinking when it comes to, like, if you want to play an Xbox game or a PlayStation game, you might have to uh, screen share it. Yeah. Screen share it to your PC and then, yeah, okay, that's fine. It'd be a good idea. I'll uh, help you set up the software that I've got on my PC because the one that I've got is one of the better ones because um, it just runs off your computer. Wow. I mean, you wouldn't need to sleep because if you're do thinking of doing two to three days, you're going to die. You need sleep. You can't go more than about 48 hours without sleep. Otherwise, your brain starts to go insane. To the point it does harm. I committed stupid maybe <laughs> is more the word we're looking for there yeah it's extremely stupid mm. probably <laughs> more than likely makes sense Two more laps. <laughs> yes, Aaron, you will need to save up. Uh, the thing is, my bot's actually set up to automatically um, count how many channel points we get um, for those, like, how many minutes have been added. So I don't even have to worry about it. The only problem is, because the channel points aren't included in the bot software, um, or it's included in the bot software, it's not included in Subathon Timer, it would mean that they would get counted on once the subathon timer hits zero. I would then create a new subathon timer with the free time added to it once the main timer hits zero. I still can't believe though, when we did that subathon, 72 hours and 40 minutes, as soon as the timer hits zero, Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> it just straight up ended the stream. Yeah. 72 hours, 40 minutes for a sub a bomb. Not too bad. But if I do another subathon, I'll be starting at um, 12 hours next time. So people will have to watch a lot more. 
and sub a lot more to get up to that time. <laughs> yeah. Being there for the end was, was pretty cool. I will do like a deal though for the first 12 hours where it's like, I think I might do double time up to 48 hours of time for the first 12 hours of the stream. So instead of a sub being 10 minutes worth of time, it'll be 20 minutes worth of time. Next time you need to be more emotions. Yes, I need to be more emotions. <laughs> I mean, sure, maybe. Good idea to cap it at five days. Question is, how much um, would you have? For, uh, for a sub, how much extra time would you do for a sub? Whoa, I've just absolutely fucking winged it. That's how you take that corner. I've stuck crying the last five minutes. Yes, agreed. I've stuck crying for the last five minutes. Na 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 no 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 That was smooth. This means a lot to me. Thank you so much. There we go, twelve thirty five. Not too bad. Sixty grand. I'll take it. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get this done. Oh, I can see clouds. I see trees of green. Red roses too. Red roses too. Red roses too. And I think to myself. Red roses too. That is one of the world's best memes that has ever existed. 
I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Gonna all obstacles in my way. It's gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. It's gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. Don't you dare say England is my city. England is not a city. For fuck's sake. I hate Jake Paul. Not because of the fact that he's already a dick as it is. But more because of the fact that he made a line in one of his songs that became so famous. Ugh. No. Honestly. The fact that he put that lyric, England is my city. Fuck. Pisses me off. Sorry, is this... Strobe by Dead Mouse as a remix licensed by Hospital? Didn't think they could do that. I listen to... Yeah, but that's how it all starts. I listened to the song for a meme and now I'm addicted to it. <laughs> Me with Norway. You do so much shit for the meme. Honestly, so much shit for the meme. I love bacon. Doesn't mean I want to stick my dick in it. <laughs> oh, that's got to be quoted. That's got to be quoted. Yes, Pandy, clip it and uh, get it famous. So it gets on the the be right back screen. Remember, keep chat English, please. <laughs> Has to all be in English so that I can understand what's in chat. I've had a pretty shitty lap this lap, but hopefully on the next one we can do a little bit better. I love bacon. Be a can. 
Jamia can, Bia can. What I might end up doing in um, at the end of this month, I might sit down on my Twitch page and uh, delete every single clip except for the top 50. Yay, the car engine's bugged out again. Well, get the bacon into the top 50 then. Shouldn't be too hard. You get at least six people watching it, and I'm pretty sure that'll be top 50. Aaron! <laughs> No, it's not Alvin. We, we got our own little thing here, so we blame everything on Alex. So it's always, Alex! It's all your fault! Alex! Oh, shit. I've messed up that corner twice now. Such a tight corner. 50, that's just blame Alex. So, I'm gonna try and bring back sound alerts on stream. Um... But I need some more actual sound alerts. So anyone has any ideas of sound alerts, let me know. They're all going to be done with uh, channel points, though. The only thing is, if we do sound alerts, they won't be coming through the... Uh, they'll come through the stream, but they won't be on the YouTube recording. So. Same as how when the simp boss attacks people, that doesn't actually get picked up by um, the YouTube recording, so... Well, if there's any good clips that have, like some questionable stuff like the penis one <laughs> I'll use that yeah that one Angie Raindrops and roses and whiskers on kittens. Sticking my dick in rotisserie chickens. <laughs> it's got 24 views now. I think that might be the most viewed clip plan. We'll have a look after this race and see if it's gotten first place.
What do you mean, will it be on my Steam? Yeah, did you not see it earlier? It came up on the thing. It automatically does it, and it came up earlier. Were you not in stream then? Because I, th I thought you were. What itchy nose. Stick in my dick in rotisserie chicken. Heavy and dark. The only thing is I might have to re-record them. Like, I'll obviously do it in the same voice. But I might have to re-record them where it's just the voice line. Because I don't think I'll be able to use the original audio because it's got music in it and it will sound funny. Holy shit. I know. I stream for long. At night. Just because I can... At night is like my chill time, but I enjoy streaming during my chill time. Because that way it keeps my mind focused. I got three races to do after this, and then we'll end the stream. So we'll be looking at an 11 o'clock finish tonight. See, I have a cheat code for how I can do it. I've been doing like four hour sessions since before I even restarted my Twitch channel. Since 20, I want to say 2018. I've sat down and recorded YouTube content for like four hours straight. So. I've sort of been used to it, but before it was like just me sat. It was actually a lot harder to just record YouTube stuff before for four hours straight because there was no one to chat to and chat. Um... Whereas now, obviously I've got chat in stream and all stuff like that. Uh, I don't really watch my clips. Uh, only reason is because I know what happened on stream anyways. It's not like it's going to be a surprise. So that's why I don't watch my own clips. And a lot of streamers also don't watch their own clips. Obviously they'll watch it back like in two, three months or whatever. But there's no point immediately me watching my own clips. It's pointless. Like I know earlier on I said I stuck my dick in rotisserie chicken. <laughs> it's not like it's going to be a surprise or it's going to be funny or anything. Because I know what happened. Because I was the one who did it.
There we go, not too bad. See what kind of a time we get out of this one. 355.8. Not too bad. Save that one and we'll go to the next race. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.